Welcome back to Tipsy Whiskey Shenanigans. I'm Steven and today, tonight, whenever the heck you're watching this, we are getting into a good old Texas bourbon battle. We have the champion, my favorite Texas whiskey previous to however this video goes, Iron Rue Harbinger going up against a new bottle for me, the new contender still Austin Cash Drinks Bourbon. Which one's gonna win? So anyone watching by now probably knows that I'm a huge Texas whiskey fan. I I think Texas whiskey's wild. I mean, just like Southwest aged whiskey. It's just wild because the climate's just all over the place. So it makes some freaking interesting, wild, weird, crazy whiskey. And so I like Texas bourbon. My favorite Texas bourbon is Iron Root Harbinger. This is 115 proof, 32 months old, and it's like $50. It's a phenomenal value in the Texas bourbon world. Recently, I did a review on Still Austin Cash Strength Bourbon. This is 118 proof. It is two years old and it's $70. So, got me thinking. I was like, hey, I really like Still Austin. Hey, I really like Iron Root Harbinger. Which one's better? I know Still Austin, it's younger, higher proof, a little bit more expensive. Iron Root, it's lower proof, a little bit older, and like $20 cheaper. But you know, like price and variances, out, like all that stuff, that's, that's a whole nother story. The whiskey, what about the whiskey? Which one has better whiskey? No matter what the off chance of how this battle goes, I don't care. I think both of these are fantastic and I'm gonna have both of these on my bar moving forward here. But I wanna see which one's better. Which Texas bourbon do I like better? Is still Austin cash strength, straight bourbon whiskey gonna be Iron Root Harbinger? Who knows? Let's get into it. As always with every head to head, I have two Glen Cairns in front of me. One labeled A, one labeled B. I have a key to the side. These were blindly poured for me. And I'm gonna go nose, palette, finish, and I'm gonna figure out which one I like better. And the only way we can answer that is just get into it. On the nose of A. Ooh, this one's dark. Dark brown sugars, chocolate. Little bit of like a nuttiness, kind of like a pecan. A nice like toasted graham cracker, kind of like s'mores going on in there. A nice honey vanilla. Little bit of like a pear blueberry type note going on. It's very like light, almost like tropical fruits. Maybe like even a pineapple, like a blueberry pineapple pear. And then a weird like, what is that like buttery almost? It smells buttery. I mean, that's a, that's a well-known kind of note that I get on most Texas stuff is it's buttery. I don't understand if it's like the corn or the pot stills, but something about it just buttery, which I freaking love that. It's like buttered popcorn on most of these. Let's go ahead and get on to B. So this one's a little bit more corny grain forward, but it's also more fruity. It's uh, I'm getting more of like dried fruits, like dried apricots, cherries, raisins. Yeah, dried cherries, that's fantastic. Caramels, vanillas, honeys, some oak, a little bit of brown sugar. Mm, very sweet. Both of these are sweet. A is more of like brown sugars, caramels, chocolate, a little bit of like a pecan nuttiness almost. Well, B is more of like a dried fruits, oak, a little bit like dusty almost. Like there's there is a slight funk I'm getting where like, so A is very, very sweet and B there's a weird like Texas funk going on. I mean, if you know what I'm talking about, you know what I'm talking about. If you don't know, you just don't know. It is what it is. But dried fruits, sweetness, Texas funkiness, very baking spice heavy too. Like B is more spicy, A is more sweet. Let's go ahead and get into the palettes with palette of B. Yeah, dry fruit leather, 
caramels, honey, vanilla, buttery popcorn, mm, toasted oak, cinnamon, a little bit of like a clove almost. Mm, that's fantastic. It lingers. It's viscous. Mm, super. There's something about Texas bourbon that's like buttery. It's like luscious melted butter. It's fantastic. Let's go ahead and get on the palate, eh? Brown sugars, caramels, vanillas, chocolate, pecan pie, mm, coffee cake, toffee. Ooh, so much. It finishes into like a medium roast coffee, caramels, vanillas. Actually, no, it finishes into an espresso. Espresso and chocolate. Mm. Oh God, and it lingers for a while too. It's not as buttery. It's more buttery on the nose while bees more buttery on the palate. Both of these are really good. This battle went exactly the way I thought it was, which I was gonna like both of these. I like them both for different reasons. A is extremely sweet, dark chocolate, brown sugars, coffee. It's more of a traditional kind of like desserty bourbon. Well, B is more of like a dried fruits, fruit leather, like spicy clove, like intrigue. It's I don't know which one of these I like better. I'm gonna have to do some deep diving. Let's go ahead and deep dive the nose. So on the nose, I'm gonna give it to A. I think that A is a little bit more inviting. Well, this is a little bit more tannic and astringent. It has that Texas funk in there. So I'm gonna go, A has a better nose on the palate. Ooh, yeah, that. So dark, coffee cake, chocolate, espresso. That espresso note is phenomenal. Ooh, just rounds out all of it. Mm. Viscosity is so good. Both these are fantastic barrel proof bourbons. This one, a little bit. Vanilla caramel, leathery, brown sugar, dried fruits. Oh, they're both really, really good. This is a tough one. I mean, they're just different bourbons. A, way more sweet, dark chocolate, brown sugar, more desserty. Well, B is a little bit more like fruity, spicy. Overall, if I'm gonna have to give it to any of them, I'm gonna have to go A. I think A is a little bit better. Again, it's more desserty, sweeter, more espresso, chocolate type stuff but I enjoy those flavors a little bit more. Well, B is a little bit more traditional Texas, kind of like dried fruit leather, a little astringent Texas funk in there. But A, I think overall, for me personally, is a better drinking experience. Again, no matter what the outcome of this is, both of these are phenomenal Texas bourbons and I'm gonna have both of them in my bars. That being said, A is the victor for this, so, it's time to figure out which one is which. I have no clue on guesses because I don't know these Texas bourbons enough, but let's go ahead and go to the key and the answer is A. The victor of this is the one, the only, still Austin, Texas bourbon. And D is Iron Root. That did not go as far as I thought it would. This is fantastic. I like both of these. Is this $20 better than this? Eh, I don't know. This was a really close battle. They're just different vibes if we're gonna be completely honest. This is more desserty. This is more, I'm looking for a traditional Texas bourbon. I like both of them a lot. If I'm looking for something that's more of a traditional Texas bourbon, Texas, 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 Iron Root. If I'm looking for something that's still Texas, it's definitely Texas all the way. Like but the Texas is toned down and it's more like an espresso chocolate sweetness. Still Austin, this is really freaking good. If you're looking to get heavier into Texas whiskey and you haven't tried out Iron Root or Still Austin, check them out. I think both of these are fantastic, fantastic Texas bourbons. And I think Texas is a category that more people need to start exploring because even though 
yes it's bourbon it's bourbon that if this is like the parameters of the flavors you're gonna get on bourbon texas bourbon's like over here it like created a whole new category of what bourbon is or southwest bourbons i guess because arizona also has some wild crazy stuff and i'm sure new mexico does as well there's just something about aging whiskey and that insane heat that just it's crazy, crazy, crazy. If you like this content, please do me a favor, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought about this video. Let me know which one of these Texas bourbons you guys like, or if you have a Texas bourbon that's similarly priced, which one do you think is better? I like both of these a lot, a lot, a lot. So I really could care less which one of these won, but if you have a better one, I'd like to see it. I'd like to give it a try. Also, check out the Instagram, Facebook, and the Patreon. The link for that is down there below. That's a wrap for this video. Cheers, y'all. We'll see you later.